as a third generation traditional farmer, I got excited in finding an opportunity like this where I could continue to grow, but also had an idea and a purpose to make sure that there's stuff available for us in the future. Sustainability is a huge part that we have to play a role in with our food system, and that's being left out and has been for past generations. We were so focused on growing the amount of food and not good quality food, we've slipped away from what's important. I have somehow found myself doing all of this inside of a shipping container. Hey guys, it's Hydro Ham with King Tide Farms here in sunny Charleston, South Carolina. Both of my grandfathers and my father all were in the uh, ag business, growing cotton, soybeans, tobacco, and things like that right here in South Carolina. I ventured into that business a little bit right after college to start paying the bills, but again, I want to make sure that we are doing things the right way and we are sustainable in what we're doing. So I got away from the traditional ag side and became a sustainable farmer with this shipping container. There you go, this is a tangerine marigold. That's what we call tangerine lace. So we use actually the foliage as well as the bloom and the flower for the chef. So you also have this awesome product right there, tangerine marigold. Yeah, the reason I love hydroponics is because just the technology that we have today, we can grow so much in such little space and so much quicker and healthier. Yep, so here we have the first component of our farm, which is the nursery. Here at the nursery, all of our plants will spend three weeks here growing to the maturity that we need and they're strong enough to then be transplanted. So they start out here in these small little peat moss plugs and from here, after three weeks, we'll move them over here to our wall, our cultivation area. In this cultivation area, we have these walls that come off so we can easily access and implant the different pods in here. Now with that, depending on what the variety is and how what maturity we're growing it to is how long it's gonna last in the walls. Lettuces usually take about seven weeks where some of our smaller varieties we usually start harvesting around week five. Some things we let regrow and some things are one cut. Our microgreen setup, so again, with the different maturity and ages of the plants, you're gonna get a lot of different shapes, sizes, and even flavor profiles that you would otherwise not get and achieve. The borage plant, it's actually an herb, but we use the flowers as edible flowers for different things for chefs. It starts out with a nice pink hue, and then as the day goes on and it blooms more, that's where you'll find this awesome bluish purple color that's really found nowhere else in nature. That really does taste like a cucumber. <laughs> and a gusher, I can understand why you say that because it's really sweet. Right, right. That's a really unique flavor, wow. Like you know, cilantro, confetti cilantro. Tastes just like your regular, but it's got a nice new shape, size to it. Purple mustards. Here we have our Ez Floor lettuce. We try and go for a lettuce that's got a new color or shape that you don't traditionally see. This is our Monte Carlo Romain, which is really hearty and can hold up those salad dressings. Some of our arugula that we cut every week and let grow back, along with our dill, and these are Chinese leeks or garlic chives that we cut and grow back. We're also working on some more mustards and some other stuff down that way uh, as well. So the way we get all of our water and nutrients to all of our plants is we have a big 80 gallon tank here in the back of the farm. Our HVAC and our condenser will then take the air, uh, moisture out of the air and the, the byproduct from the HVAC and circulate that back into our system, which allows us to only use five gallons of water a day to grow 18,000 plants at once. The water will come up, drop down from the emitters. It will travel through these panels that we have through a wicking strip, which is a water soluble strip that runs from top to bottom in between our styrofoam. And from there, the water or the plants will all get their nutrients and the water they need to continue growing. So here in the farm, we maximize our growth as much as we can by controlling everything from the CO2 to the water temperature to the nutrient mix and also the lights. So we run 18 hour days inside the farm using red and blue spectrums only. And what that does is red is going to promote vegetation growth while blue is gonna promote root growth and really give us the best advantage to grow a plant as healthy as quickly as we can. Thanks so much for visiting the farm today and remember, let us eat local.